Everybody here, case dismissed. Talking about the old books and the administrative codes and where you have to look for these different things and how so many people just take things for granted in traffic court that, well, they're they're law enforcement, they must do everything right. One thing that a lot of people aren't aware of, if you're driving on the, the turnpike, for example, in Florida, and you'll see it all over on most of the uh, national, most of the national highways, you'll drive and you'll see a big white, wide strip across, and then a little bit down the road, there's another one. Well, in case you've ever wondered what that is, that's a quarter mile measure distance for aircraft enforcement of your speed. And what happens is, they'll usually have six to 10 highway patrol guys parked on the side of the road. And I'll have a guy up in a Cessna 172 doing, doing circles and he'll pick a car out, most likely a Grace good area or, or something of that nature. And uh, as you enter, um, and they'll always testify they, they click just before you enter to give you the benefit, if you believe it. But um, they click their stopwatch when you enter and when you leave, they click it again. And then very simply, they have a chart that says if it took you 16 seconds to go through that area, you were going 98 miles an hour or whatever. And then what will happen is on the radio, they will talk the trooper. They'll say, silver Ferrari, left-hand lane, get behind them. Yes, that's the car. Pull that one over. So they confirm back and forth that it is, in fact, the car that they did. And then the trooper will write you the ticket and he'll write aircraft on it. Then when it comes to court, was now... Usually, you need an officer to show up. And in this case, you need both officers to show up. The one that wrote you the ticket and the guy in the sky. And a lot of times, only one shows up, so anyone can win that one. But generally, these dockets, because they're all set up for this particular airplane pilot, so they'll have him and all six troopers that were there and everybody there that got caught. This particular ticket, the first thing I asked was, because he has a timing device, what is it? Just a stopwatch. I said, tell me about your stopwatch. You made it. It's made by Hoyer. I said, okay. How do you know it works? You know, I got it certified. I got it calibrated. Now, someone who actually did his job, uh, let me see the calibration. It's a calibration by a watch shop that's on a list of approved watch repair places from the Department of Transportation, and it was within the six months as required. So I'm like, okay. I said, okay, well, I'm good. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about these white stripes on the ground that you use to time. He says, well, they're a quarter mile apart. I said, well, how do you know that? He says, well, I've been doing this for years. And I said, yeah, but how do you know it? He goes, well, my captain told me. That's how you know this is a quarter mile? Your captain told you? So you realize we're in a court of law, right? And the rules of evidence apply. Yeah. I said, have you ever heard of something called hearsay? He said, oh. I said, judge, hearsay, move to dismiss. Wait, 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 before you dismiss, I can get my captain in here. Judge's like, all right. I mean, they have a 200 people in here in this courtroom with six troopers and that, you know, we're going to adjourn for lunch. Trooper, get your captain here right after lunch. Everybody have a nice lunch. Captain comes back, testifies, raises right hand, swears to tell the truth. Captain, we're here talking about the, the quarter mile markings on US 91, whatever. What is that distance between those two more to those two lines? Quarter of a mile. How do you know that, sir? He says, I measured it myself. I'm like, really? What did you use to measure it? He goes, 100-foot steel tape. Okay. Where'd you get that 100-foot steel tape? Ace Hardware. I was like, love Ace Hardware. They got everything. Great. After you got it from Ace Hardware, did you get it certified by any national standard laboratory? He goes, what are you talking about? It's 100-foot steel tape from Ace Hardware. Of course it's 100 feet. I said, well, you realize in law enforcement that any time a measuring device is used, it has to be certified to a national standard. What are you talking about? Okay, that's actually not even in the administrative code, that's in the statutes. For example, officer, if you had charged someone with 28 grams of marijuana, and you put it on a scale, you know that scale has to be calibrated and certified to a national standard. He's like, yeah, I'm aware of that. And I said, measuring tape is a measuring device, right? I mean, he even says it. Well, I guess so. So judge, move to dismiss. Trooper, I'm sorry, but he's right. He said, everybody here, case dismissed. And that was that. Interestingly, as a follow-up, the next time they did it, they came in with a survey, 
okay? However, it wasn't a certified survey. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we had two strikes at that one. I believe the third time they, they had it, it, it has to be, to introduce something into evidence from a government agency, it has to be certified that this is a true and correct copy of the document that we had in the hall of books and records, et cetera, et cetera. And um, so, yeah, that was a good one. A lot of people got some freebies there, which is fine. It's okay. I did my job. We'd like to thank this month's VinWiki sponsor, Carly, and their connected car system. Their OBD device plugs into just about any car, 96 and newer, and gives you unprecedented access to exactly what's going on with your car. You get not only diagnostic codes to see exactly what's faulting, which tends to be a lot in my case, but you can also do different coding to certain cars, particularly BMW and Volkswagen products. So visit the link in the description below and you can use the code VINWIKI for a discount. They'll tell you exactly what their device can do on your specific car, but at the very least, it works as the best OBD scanner that I've ever seen. I usually end up just buying the cheap ones at Advanced Auto Parts and then inevitably losing them. This one works with an app on your phone. It checks everything and I don't have to go Google the code. It tells you exactly what it is. And so I've liked playing around with it the last few weeks. I'm going to keep one with me on all my road trips coming up, but be sure to check them out and try one out for yourself.